One. Good morning, my awesome friends and followers and the members of the channel. Thank you all very much for your continued support as we move towards the direction of transparency. Yes. Well, people, it is Friday the 11th of October. The end of another week. The end of another week. My son's went to school this morning and believe it or not, today it's yellow day in school. Never heard of it before. It's yellow day. I think it should do with mental health. But I don't know. Was World Mental Health Day not yesterday? I, I don't understand. Anyway, he, he said it's yellow day. So he's away with a yellow football top on school trousers and a pair of like black with yellow Nike Air trainers. And anyway, there we go. He's a happy boy. He didn't have to wear school shoes, which is surprising because they're black and they're Nike as well. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah. Um, listen, what a night last night was. Um, I was. Uh, this is what happened. I'm going to give you a little bit of information here, uh, which I haven't, I don't tell you. Well, the only one that knows about this, if I'm honest, is probably Fiona and Graham. So over the last few days, do you remember a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, I did a live stream with Fiona and Graham, referenced what happened in Leeds Crown Court. doesn't matter. Done and dusted now. And as the night went on, we talked about what's happening online. And, about it. and I mentioned how I had been manipulated in the past. Um to get involved in two female YouTubers uh, that were sp having a spat. I remember that. I, of course, we all remember that, hopefully. Anyway, um, I've since learned, and now um, I stay away from YouTubers having gripes. I do. For some reason, though, for some reason, though, they like to throw my name in a boot, and I get involved. Um, if you remember what happened with two other female YouTubers, my name got brought into that. I wasn't even part of that conversation. I wasn't even on that live. Yet, brought into it again. But um, I've ignored it. But over the last, I'm going to go back as far as a week, I've been receiving emails from individuals that I don't know. Usually like weird made up names and weird made up emails. The recent one has been someone called Serena. Trying to tell me that, um, and I will be honest with you, trying to cause friction, trying to cause fights. I mean, the email she sent me was, I scrolled down and 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 I scrolled down. down. It was a massive email. Didn't read it. Uh, just scrolled down through it. Didn't read it. There was some sc screenshots in there from terrible people on Twitter that had said things about me. Anyway, um, this individual was trying to get me to have a fight with according to Taz. I seen that. But I didn't. I didn't fall for it. If anything, um, I just sent it on to according to Taz. Uh, I'm not getting involved in any of that nonsense. And I don't want, I hate it. I mean, the amount of effort that this woman had went into, the amount of effort that this woman had went into to try and get me to pick a fight. In the email, it kept saying that another YouTuber was a lovely lady and she was a great therapist and it was all this nonsense. Uh, so I just hit delete. Anyway, so there's clearly somebody out there. I think I know who it is because they wrote We Was and only one person that writes We Was is uh, an individual that... Um, I don't speak to now. So there are people out there trying to cause frictions and trying to get people to fight with each other. And I don't, I'm, like, I'm fucking 50 next year. I don't give a shit about your emails. I just, do you know, do you know how I responded? I wrote fuck off. That was it. And then after them telling me that they really liked me and they wanted to help me, and their response to me was, you are a nasty person and you are this and you are that. I just thought, you know what? It just took two words. It just took two words to trigger you. So, you know, you don't have good intentions. But there's a lot of people trying to cause trouble. And I'm not falling for it. Um, uh, Fiona did a video last night. She did a, a bit angry video. Uh, and rightly so. Rightly so. It was, a, it was a video about what's happened to her. The I responded in her video in the comments. Um, I've had one or two saying, it's got nothing to do with you, Trevor. Leave it alone. Stop getting involved. Well, it actually has got a lot to do with me. The individual that's going to court has been saying a lot of nasty things and derogatory things about me. It's got a lot to do with me. I even had one person in the comments go, I was at the court and I did not see you. You are a liar. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. I wasn't looking for you. I don't know any of you. I have no interest in any of you. I really don't. If I'm going to be honest, you're pretty much insignificant. Okay. I mean, you're non-entities. I don't, I don't care. I didn't turn up to say, hi everyone, I'm here. I turned up and I kept a low profile because I knew that lunatics were going to be there. Uh, yeah, and there was a few people that noticed me, but I don't care. Um, but yeah, um, I back 100%. Uh, 
4th of November, the case is in Leeds Magistrates. Uh, I'm hoping to be there. Uh, same again. Uh, training to Ipswich. Yep. From Ipswich to Cambridge, Cambridge, Sheffield, Sheffield onwards. It's easy. It's easy on the trains. It takes a long time, but it's easy. You can relax. You can put your thoughts together. So hopefully, if Fiona's there, no doubt we'll meet up. The, hopefully, maybe the night before. It just it depends what's happening. But there we go. Yeah. Right. Back to the news. Ah, back to the news. What else is happening? Did you know a sitting, current serving Labour MP's husband, her husband, who's the ex-Wolverhampton mayor, has been going around telling people that he is a, an ex an ex Marine commando and that uh, he wears a little Iraq badge, a little Iraq war badge, telling people all these different dits. A dit, D-I-T, is a story. It's a, it's a story about stuff. Ventures, dit. The Marines use those type of terminology. He's been telling people all these little dits, these little stories, that um, how he served in the Royal Marine Commandos. Well, guess what? That's a bit of embarrassing to be a member of Parliament and to have your husband lie about that there. In fact, if anything, um, Walter Mitty. Stolen valour, isn't it? Because it turns out, it turns out that this guy did actually attend. He wanted to be a Royal Marine. But he never made it out of basic training. It was too hard for him. Yeah, he jacked it in. Quite sad that, isn't it? And it, that, there's many of them out there that go around. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Um, a while ago, last year, a while ago, um, I think many of you know that I go and have the old Guinness in a, in a hotel hotelier pub called the Berlin in Woodbridge. I go in there. It's nice, lovely. I sat at the bar once, just chilling, and there was a guy with three blokes around him, and he was telling people about his time in the Special Air Service. He was telling people about the Iranian embassy siege. And I was just sitting listening, and I had two Guinness, and I had to get involved. Shouldn't have, but it did. But it did. I says, ah, you were in the Iranian embassy siege? You, you were part of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just said to him, oh, do you know Bob Shepard? No. You don't know Bob Shepard? No. Do you know Rusty Furman? No. Do you know Robin Horsfield? No. You don't know any of those guys that were on the Iranian embassy siege? And he went, no. And I just, I went, do you know what I did? I just went, no dramas, mate. And I just turned around and finished my, I think it was on my second Guinness, just finished my second Guinness. Then my son came in and we headed off. But then um, it just goes to show you. And the three guys with him were like going, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they were like so intensely listening to him like it was like wow and i was like okay no job i didn't embarrass him i did not embarrass the guy i just went no dramas mate and just turned away it was quite funny but there we go just goes to show you there's a lot of people that are going around lying about their lifestyles um because they're not happy they're not happy with their lifestyles but there we go yeah uh and our new chancellor rachel reeves has come up with this awesome idea alleged Awesome. Well, it's not alleged. It's an awesome idea, she thinks. But it's not an awesome idea. She wants to raise capital gains tax to 39%. Now, listen to this. That in itself, right, will destroy our economy. Do you want to know why it will destroy our economy? She thinks that if she was to raise capital gains tax by 1%, she would bring in 100 million. She wants to take it up to 39%. Now, People are going, really? Are, are you sure about this? Because what that's going to do is you think it's going to bring in lots of money. It's not. It's going to send investors out of London City and to another country. People are going to stop investing. It could cost billions, trillions of pounds with this stupid idea she has. I have an idea, Rachel Reeves. Stop giving 22 billion to this shitty climate change thing because no one's going to fix the hole in the ozone layer. It doesn't matter how much you tax the people, we can't fix what's happening outside of our planet. I mean, what planet are you on? That's what I like to know. Jesus, we get tax on everything. I mean, you get you work worker pensions, you get you get taxed on them. You get home, 
you buy stuff with it, you, you get taxed on your food. You, you, you get taxed on the heating to heat your food up that you've been taxed on buying. To then put it on a plate that you've paid VAT on the plate, you get your knife and fork, which you had to pay VAT on the knife and fork, to sit down on the chair that you paid VAT on that chair, to put your plate on the table that you paid VAT on the fucking table. I mean, what else do they want from us? It's just... Uh, and another 65 women have came forward uh, with abuse claims towards Mohammed Al-Fayed. Yeah, another 65 women. What a monster he was. Absolutely shocking. Wow. And let's not forget what's happening in Florida, ladies and gentlemen. They've been hit with horrific weather. Hurricanes. Milton, isn't it now? Um, yeah, I hope everyone's safe. Uh I don't think they are. I think there's been quite a few people perished with this weather, but uh, let's hope everyone else gets saved at the minute. It's quite sad what's happening over there. Wow. Uh, and religious hate crimes have now risen in the UK by 25% towards Muslims and Jews. Religious hate crime has risen. Now, that is shocking. That is shocking. And I, I it, there's no room for that type of racism there's not but what it would like the police to do or these polls to do or these whoever does these investigations to do is try and find out how much crime has raised with children due to certain people being in the country i'd like to know that poll and then justify another poll based on the based on the information you get from several polls knife crime i'd like to know the the majority of the people that carry knife, knife crime, uh, sexual assault, rape, and all these different things. Let's let's look at these crimes and let's look at the percentages of the people that are carrying out these crimes, and then let us know if they hate crime. I just, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, please don't shoot the messenger. But we need to. I'd rather see a better, a more detailed investigation into the percentages of certain people and religions and certain races, and even if it's white, we need to know, find out if 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 we're causing all this stuff. Rather than just throw out different things, you know, because um, knife crimes risen through the roof in London alone. Uh, I'm not too sure about the rest of the UK. I'm just pointing that out. There's a lot going on, you know. There's no point throwing out one shitty little poll uh, and not giving us the actual information as to why this is happening, because that's why people are fed up. Yeah, craziness, isn't it? There we go. And I'll finish off by saying this. I said the other day about a 43-year-old lady that died in A&E. She had had a heart attack and she died in A&E after waiting hours and hours for help. Um, a Norfolk coroner's court has ruled, had the ambulance have got there on time, it may have saved her. Well, I don't like a coroner's court saying that. Because that's saying they may have. It didn't say they would have. Which then leaves the family tormented mentally forever, knowing they've lost their mother or their 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 wife or their daughter. So to say that in the coroner's court, in my opinion, is not a good thing to say. You either know or you don't know. Don't throw out little hymns and has as if mm, maybe, maybe not. I mean, that, that's a terrible thing to rule. Um, what they could have done is, had an ambulance have got there sooner, they could have saved her. That would have been a great statement. Or had the ambulance have arrived sooner, there would still be nothing they could have done. But to say, had they have got there earlier, you never know. Mm, that's... People have to go and live with that now. It's just... In my opinion, it's a wrong thing to say. Well, listen, people. I'm going to shoot on. I'm hoping that Charlie's in. Go for a coffee. If not, I'm going to check below my little... Soft drinks killer. Because it keeps dripping. Mm, I've taken the ice out of it. The ice was dripping, which means it's cold. Anyway, there we go. My floor keeps getting wet. I've got to put a lot. I've got to put the wash on. And um, what am I doing later? Got to make a couple of phone calls. Anyway, listen. Thank you for your support. Big shout out to all my members. Over two hundred now. I do appreciate it. And uh, let's keep going in a positive direction. And remember, and I will point this out. If someone sends you an email about somebody, and it sounds wow. Trevor's a real nasty person. Did you see what I read? Nine times out of ten. Probably most of the time, actually. It's not true. Listen, if I've got something to say about somebody, I don't use social media. I don't make fake accounts. You hear it here. 
If I think you're a twat, I'll tell you you're a twat. It's the bottom line. I'm the same here as I am off camera. I'm not going to change. I don't need to hide who I am. Okay, so don't believe emails that are being sent out. I mean, those are... Got it yesterday. There is a group of us and we believe that this... I'm like, go away. I don't care. Right? I mean, do you really think I need to hide behind accounts, fake accounts? It's just nonsense. Um, wow. Anyway, listen. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and stay safe, okay? Stay indoors if you are in a Florida area, which you may not have any chance to do so, but look after yourselves and have a great day. Bye.